What happened to Achilles on there? You not in there? Oh, Ooh, I yeah. Get him in. Liar, not me. But now I'm not. Okay. How about now? Yeah, yes. but there he is at the bottom. And I'll there remain there. Go. All right. Uh, Kellick. Damn it. <laughs> yeah, not me. Uh, no, it, it, it's it's daytime, but it's uh, storming. Oh. Okay, hang on. Yep. Uh, all right, we're going to blast this sucker. Kelly's going to run forward to the bow of the ship. Hey, Morgan. Try not to take any arrows. And cast agonizers, flaming something. Okay, so uh, just as a point, I looked at that, and it the spell starts with you, so it's only thir a thirty foot line from you. Boo! Let me do some measuring real quick. And they're about 60 feet from the boat. Blast. Okay. We're going to move back where we were at. And magic missile with the wand. All right. Who are you targeting? Wait, is this... So are these paddle-driven like this... This guy's the guy paddling? Um, they look like they might have been, but the, they both have their... You saw that they both had weapons drawn, and nobody's paddling, but the boats are still heading towards you. Oh, yeah, okay. So, we'll shoot that guy. Why? Mess something up. All right, roll for the uh, for the damage. Okay, hang on. It is 12 damage. We're just using a single charge from the wand. Okay. 12 damage. So you, you know, sling out the missiles, come spiraling out of the wand, you know, cr easily crossing the 60 feet and just kind of slam over the, uh, the kind of the wall that he's kind of hiding behind. Uh, and you, you kind of hear it cry out in pain. Uh, ducks. He ducks behind it for a second, completely disappearing, and then you know, kind of. Then you kind of see his head pop back up with a glare in his eyes. And it's their turn. The boats move. I can't move the boats, um, but they, they move about twenty feet closer to you. Uh, and each one in the back of the boat uh, send out arrows from behind their cover. So are they still like forty feet away, or are you going to be moving their icons in lieu yeah, of the boat? Yeah, can you move the icons where they are? Mm, yeah, I guess I can do that. There. There. It's going to look funny, but oh well. Yeah, we're using them. Makes sense. Uh. So, Corwin, you've got one coming at you, but it's going to miss. And it kind of just bounces off the barge uh, plank next to your feet. Um, Achilles, what's your armor class? 15. 
that one's going to hit you. Um, okay. And you're going to take uh, five points of piercing damage as the arrow kind of, kind of slams into your shoulder. And at that time, you guys hear, you hear kind of Ryajak at the back of the barge cry out and uh, um, surprise, and you hear a voice, Belnar! Why don't you go ahead and stop and hand me uh, your guest, and we can. I'll let you go about your way. Oh, you son of a. Another me. boat. Mm -hmm. uh, this one's got three figures, two guys, same same makeup on the boat. Um, it's kind of got kind of a palisade built up on the front to provide cover. Um, but standing in the very back of the boat is a guy in uh, uh, heavy armor uh, with a helmet. And you can just kind of see a glint of red uh, from behind the helmet. Brave man, or heavy behind. armor on a boat, on a rowboat, Going no out. less. On a rowboat and... that could catch on fire, no less. Wizard, All right? <laughs> Wizard. Yes. Another another arrow comes flying uh, towards Hyman, but that's gonna miss. Add him to the turn, and it'll be um, Hyman's turn. Seeing Achilles take an arrow uh, and being thankful for the wonderful armor he let me have, I will cast um, Minor Illusion and put a crate right in front of him, five by five, for him to take shield behind. Okay. You said with minor illusion? Yes, sir. Okay. There you go. All right. Uh, Bajark. You were in the tent, I believe. I, I was, uh, you know, hanging out in the tent door. Yeah, he was not allowed in the tent. Yep. I think that I should take the tent with me as I walk away, but I won't, because I don't want to hear Raid cry anymore. I'm tired of it. <laughs> so, uh, I'm just going to walk towards the back. <laughs> What's that? So aiming a knife at you isn't crying. <laughs> in my mind, it is. <laughs> um, I'm going to drop a... Uh, Sacred flame on on flame man, and just be like, right. get over here and fight me like a man, you big wimp. Okay, and that's a wisdom save, right? No, deck save. Yes, dexterity save DC thirteen. He passed on his roll. Good, good, good. Anything else? Nope. I'm a giant failure. <laughs> Greg. Okay, Greg's going to go Welcome ahead and uh, slither her way out of the tent um, and uh, make her way beside Bajarak and say, here, this is how you do it. And then grab a firm hold of her... Oh, crap, if I can move her. Jesus. There you go. Grab a firm hold of her... Uh... What do clerics use? Her, her holy symbol. Holy symbol. holy symbol. There you go. That's what it is. Holy symbol. M murmur some words. Then go ahead and cast shatter on the ex on the, below the boat. Directly below it. The storm cleric is storm clericking outside yeah. in a storm. <laughs> yeah, this is my zone. Very good. <laughs> it seems appropriate. So what does that do? Um, it's gonna go ahead and make a uh, eruption from of ten feet from my choice within sixty feet. Uh, each creature in a 10-foot radius of the sphere must make a constitution saving throw. The creature will take, well, it'll take damage if it uh, fails. Doesn't, All right. Doesn't it affect inanimate objects as well? Uh, it, it does have a blowback, yes. Well, oh, was I missing that one? Will you throw that up on the chat? And her DC is 14? DC is 14. 
Uh, one of the. Oh, I thought this was the one that with the knockback. Whoops, kind of fucked up. Whatever. Uh, the guy that that sorry. spoke it uh, passes. The guy in the middle passes, but the guy in the front failed. Okay, so they'll take half as much damage. So I'll roll three d eight. Let's see, three, five, so eight, and then ten. Maybe ten. I don't think there's a additional to it. No. So ten. Uh, so the one that actually failed takes ten, and the others take half as much. They they take five. Um. Actually, a creature made of um, made of material. A non-magical object that isn't being worn or carried also takes damage if it's in the area. So the boat also takes damage. It'll take ten. Assuming it can't pass a Constitution save. No, it can't fail. And you you see the boat start to start to rock. Um, and the all all three of them just kind of look down at their feet. Um, as if the it, as if they see something happening on the bottom of their boat. Cool. Uh, Corwin. Okay, so underway. That's what I didn't do. Whoops. Which boats? Which boats are the closest, Rob? Uh, they're all about twenty feet from the boat. Okay. They, they were they were hiding uh, on the bank and and basically waited till you the barge was in between them. Okay. Um. Let's. And is our boat going to get any movement? We're still moving towards them, correct? Or no? Yep. Stationary. Okay. Yeah, when will that happen? On Belnar's, on Belnar's turn? Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to bonus action uh, transform into my hybrid form. And I'm going to have my glaive, and I'm going to hold action to uh, attack with the glaive as soon as they come within 10 feet. Okay. Sounds good. Johnny, I feel like when you transform, like we deserve like a sound effect that you have to make. (laughs) (laughs) Very good. Okay, I did something to my video, but can't see myself. Whatever. Um, I'm going to go ahead and... Shit. I'm going to tell my servants to keep their heads down, make my way out of the boat or uh out of the tent make my way to the front no make way behind corwin uh and <laughs> <laughs> yeah that was a mistake what was i thinking crazy uh In the front <laughs> hmm shit bonus can i bonus action stealth hide behind uh corwin you can certainly try Sure. Plus. Sorry, my computer is not wanting me to run more than one taxing program at a time, so I'm going to do this on my phone. <laughs> Stealth is plus eight. All right. Uh, that'll be 18. 18 to hide. <laughs> Got it. 18 to hide. And then I'm going to hold action if, you know, somehow, for whatever reason, one of these things decide to get on our boat and it gets within attack range, I'm going to swipe my rapier at it. That'll be that. So the 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 barge kind of surges forward. Um, these guys get a little bit closer to the front of the boat, and uh, you hear Belnar kind of over his shoulder back at the guy who yelled at him. It's like, "Not on your life, Tormund." This guy, and he goes, guys, this this guy is not a uh, not. He, he's he's dangerous. We need to get out of here. And he tries to control the boat to go forward. Is Bjark thinking about jumping onto one of the boats? Yes, of course. He is thinking about it. Yes. Can I persuade you to do that thing that you just said? <laughs> it's such a bad idea, though. Achilles. <laughs> Jark, he supports the enemies of hell. All right. <laughs> so Achilles is going to shoot at the guy who shot him. All right. 
And that'll right be here. a 17 total. That's going to hit. Uh, I'm sorry. Wait, he's got half cover. What's, what's half cover? Mm -hmm. Plus two. two. Okay, yeah, no, it'll still hit. Okay. So that'll be nine points of damage. That's a good hit. And then I'm going to take a bonus action and shout words of encouragement at Kellick to rally him. So that will be seven temporary points for Kellick. Nice. All right. I feel invulnerable and now. I will try to duck behind my newfound crate that appeared in front of me. Do you try to interact with it at all? No, it just pops up there and is like, where'd that come from? <laughs> all right. Now it's the Captain Tormund's turn. That boat seems to be sitting lower in the water, um, but it surges forward in, um, along with the the other two boats. Just... Oh, fuck. Hey, Rob. Yep. Sorry, when I realized that the boat took damage, I would have actually done something slightly different. Uh, I, I would have made a uh max that damage because it was shock damage. Ah, fuck okay. it. I'll let it go. Never mind. I didn't realize the boat was going to take damage at first. I would have uh, maximized that if I knew it, but whatever. That was my mistake. Yeah. Just bear with me for a second. I had multiple maps for this encounter. Oh. Yeah, well, she wasn't able to get it to where I could move the boats. So. I mean, it's still great. Yeah, it's still awesome. Yep. Very, no, very I, awesome. I am extremely pleased with the way this turned out. And for those that are now, now that we're live, you know, oh, yeah. uh, they're in the chat. For uh, hold on just a second. For the links to the Able Queen on Twitter and her Patreon. Yeah. And I've checked out a few of her stuff. Those of you that are familiar with Lost Land the Pandelver, she's I think she's got most of the maps already created for that, and they look awesome. Sorry, do you okay. send the link to the uh, their Twitch? Yes. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Cool. And I'll, I'll probably post it again in a little bit since I know the links don't come or people won't see it once they come into the stream late. Uh, but but that surge was uh, Tormund's action to get the boats right up against the uh, the barge there. And Kellick, back to you. Do I get my held action attack? Oh, you should. So it'll with the orientation of the boat in the cover because you know the barge is flat, uh, almost at the surface of the water. Um, so you're going to have to reach over with the glaive. Not saying you can't do it, but it will the attack will be at disadvantage because you're having to reach the glaive over the the cover. Okay, well I'm gonna do it anyway. I figured. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it'll be a 17 at disadvantage. 17 at disadvantage. All right. Well, that's definitely going to hit. Okay. Oh. And that'll be... Hold on. What is that? It'll be 12 points of damage. Ouch. So you, you kind of underhand your glaive and just kind of stab it down over the over the wall you know, growling in your hybrid form and you, you hear a you feel contact with the glaive and you hear a yelp in pain Good. from the from the bandit all right so raid you won't be able to reach him for your held action so yours is still pending um kellick okay kellick's gonna move to the south side of the boat and reorient himself facing 
the the boat that you know Malnar had indicated the the this pretty ruthless dude is on, and he's going to cast Agonizer's Scorcher at them as well as at the boat. Which which boat are you doing? That one. All right. So we're going to go from here. Oh, cool. That one. <laughs> Neat. Oh, that's sweet meat. Oh, oh, you you figured it out. So, uh, just a quick point. Um, Kellick, uh, it, it, it's easier if you do the the shortcut path macro and draw the line like I just did, and then select the the line, and it'll it'll do do it a little bit more accurately. Can I do that with a... Uh, Oops. Actually, I don't want to figure that out. Yep. Never mind. All right, so that's a deck save for all three of them, right? Yes, I do believe that is correct. Dex, and it would be a... 13. 13. They all pass. Ah! So half damage. Yeah, it's half damage and it's half of eleven. Ugh, what a horrible roll. Uh, yeah, half of eleven. Well, that's enough for that for the guy who's just about to climb onto the boat, and actually, uh, uh, almost takes out the guy. He's looking bloody, but the heavier guy is. Uh, He doesn't seem to be too phased by it. But what about the boat? Mm -hmm. Um, it, it's it's sinking and it's on fire. Very good. <laughs> and, yeah, and I'll use the rest of my movement to move back away from them since I'm like, nope. <laughs> Even with my seven additional hit points. <laughs> All right, now these guys, a uh, kind of almost a f part of the, the palisade on on the boat just kind of falls forward, uh, making contact with the barge, and the bandits kind of charge in. Raid, you're gonna have oh, your no. you're gonna have your options. Uh, <laughs> um. Hmm. Well. I rolled an 18 for stealth. Who actually notices me? <laughs> uh, you're on a flat barge. <laughs> Hiding behind a person. Uh, Hiding behind a tiger person, no less. Yeah. If, they were, if, they were, if he was between you all, then maybe. But these guys are on each side of you. <laughs> I mean, yeah, but they're rushing past me, right? I mean, I'm assuming if, if, if they were entering the boat and I was hidden from them as they're entering the boat, they weren't with the mentality of like, oh, let's all surround raid. They were like, oh, let's attack these people. Maybe with a passive perception of one, <laughs> they wouldn't okay. see somebody <laughs> standing <laughs> there. Is what you're saying. All right, so I don't have sneak attack. Got it. Um, well, no, your sneak attack's still in play. You just don't have advantage. Bing. Okay. Because you've got an ally right next to you. Well, you, if you attack one of the guys, the second guys that came on the boat, you'd have sneak attack. Nothing about this makes me comfortable. Okay. Uh, I'm going to kill the one that provided or potentially gives me an out. So the uh, one above Corwin. I'm okay. I'm going to try to run my rapier through, hopefully, a spleen. Uh, right. Let's see. That'll be a 21 to hit. That hits. And that will be a. Let's see, seven, I think nine for damage. Nine damage? I think it should be more than that, actually. Is, did you roll sneak attack? Yeah. Uh, I got a three, a four, and I forgot oh. my attack bonus is. Uh, damage is plus six, so never mind. That's going to be a uh, 13. 13? Yep. All right, so you, you stab him in the gut, and he, he kind of bowls over. Um, but as you pull the rapier out, and he, he cries out in pain. God damn it. Working hey. really, really rough. Hey, hey, Rob. hey, Rob, do I get my polearm master opportunity attack? On which one? 
the one. Well, the one that would the one that would have come in within my range. It would have been the one in the back of the boat, not the one I hit, because yeah. the one obviously that I hit was within my range. Yeah. Oh, I see what you're saying. So yeah, it would have been him. Yeah. So the guy that was on the back of the boat that came within my range, I would have gotten a uh, should get a polar master opportunity attack on him. Yep. If you allow it. Okay. Yeah, I'm checking the screen. Uh, uh, no. no one sees the proper turn order anymore, right? Oh, yeah, I don't. Disappeared. Okay, making sure. 23 to hit. We, we see round one, negative 100. That's all everyone sees that. Uh, uh, 21 to hit. 23 to hit, and and it's going to be, uh, let's see, damage. Uh, that's a good roll. Uh, it's going to be 14 points. Yeah. He did not like that at all as you, you swing the, the glaive around and slice through his armor. Cool. All right, but now they're going to make their uh, their turns. Yeah, let's see. Two, three, four, five left. So one's going for Belnar. That's going to miss. Mm -mm. Was it? I thought it felt light. The, the guy was just standing out there with the dogs were barking, and he just handed it to me. Tangent. All right, that second one's going to miss. Uh, third one is attacking Achilles. Uh, that's a natural 20 with a scimitar. Only eight points of damage. Yes, he slices okay. into you. All right. And one on Corwin. Misses and one on raid. Fuck you. Uh, I'm assuming a 11 misses raid as well. I, I dodge it effortlessly because I don't get damaged the entire campaign. <laughs> All right, Simon. Hey, Rob, did you have the turn order going? I know they mentioned that earlier. Yeah, I, I can see it on mine. Hold on, let me uh, reset it here. Hope you're taking note of what our uh, stats, our roles are before you do that. Okay. Oops. I know I'm after Hyman. That's all I know for sure. <laughs> That's what I was worried about. I was an well, 11. Uh, I remembered what these guys were. I think... She had I was a 13. Maybe had a 10, maybe. You don't even see me out there. I'm not on there. About a 10, yeah, I think. Oh, there I am. Hi, man. Are you on there? Ray is not. I keep, I keep moving. I can't put it. The moving target. There we go. Reason I'm not. Yeah, all kinds of issues today. A little bit. We look awesome on 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 stream. What is the stream? <laughs> We're <laughs> professionals. Do not try this at home. Hi, man. Do you remember what your year was? The guards that are unwilling, right? He had at least. I think I was back. after the bandit, so I'm gonna guess 17. Now, there we go. Hey, it's working now. Okay. Sweet. All right. So Hyman sneaks back to the side of the boat and starts bringing up his uh, musical instrument. <laughs> and illusions start coming in the air as we see Bane come out towards Captain Tormod. And... 
Bane. Yeah, yeah. All right, that's a wisdom save, correct? Which he will pass. Ah. All three passed or just him? Oh, um, okay, he passed. Which other two did you try it on? Him. Okay. Top one fails. Top one, bottom one passes. And that'll end my turn. Does that drop a minor illusion? Is that a concentration? No, it's a cantrip. Okay. That thing on there. Oh, I'm gonna say he's blessed on the status there. But at least let me know. Stats. Okay. Anything else? No, sir. All right. What is Yark? All right. I'm gonna go here. I think they answered your question for you. They did. I'm going to cast Shield of Faith on my. Have a little bit of that. And I'm going to attack this gentleman right here. Okay. Oh, good. A 12 to hit. 12 just barely hit. Oh, good. Seven damage. With your uh, mace? Correct. You, side of the head, face. You know, same thing, right? Whenever you're swinging a mace. It, it turns into, uh, in, it feels pretty soft after you uh, pull the mace out of the side of his skull as he slumps to the ground. Good. It's a pudding. I'm just going to look down at old Captain Tormund and be like, get on up here, you big fat ass. Oh, jeez. And that is my turn. Greg will charge forward and say he won't have the chance, and then stump her foot down as she murmurs a prayer under her voice, and use Thunder Wave at uh, second level. Uh, yes. Attempt to blow the boat as well as the captain well off the boat. It's going to be a con 14. Rude. <laughs> Kill steal. <laughs> you didn't touch him. Shut up. I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Uh, in my mind, all the kills are mine, though. Fair. He passes, and uh, you oh, see no. the boat start breaking apart, kind of under his feet. Uh, no, no, no. I'm, I'm then going to use the, uh, was whatever the hell it's called, to max the damage. Okay. So it's going to be, let's see, 18, 16, 24. 24 damage to the boat. Yeah, I mean the the, the boat's boat be... the boat's done. It's, <laughs> okay, and also, pieces are still floating, but it is it is not going to be functional. The boat, as well as he, are pushed ten foot back, ten feet back. Okay, I'm going to try to essentially topple it into the water. Okay. Yes. Flight mail floats so well. So since it's uh, maximum thunder damage into water, would he not take anything from that? He he takes half damage of 24, right? Yeah. And we'll see what happens on his turn. Okay. And, uh, yeah, she'll just hold there. Forward. My turn. Okay. I'm going to attack one right there in front of me. Um, and let's see. I'm going to attack with uh, two. Both ends. Sharp end and the blunt end. Oh, that's only. That's probably going to miss. 11? 11 misses. Okay. That's what I thought. And then a 20. So I only get him with the blunt end, which will be see. Is that gonna be that will be 
Is that right? Yeah. Seven points. Seven points of damage. So you yep. shove shove the blunt in, kind of into the stump. You uh, feel a gasp of air. You know, it comes out of him. Uh, he is. He's not doing too hot. All right, raid. Um, let's see if I can uh, put down the bandit that I try to take down earlier. So I'm gonna go ahead and just, I mean, pull my rapier out of his stomach, and I'm gonna go ahead and try to put my rapier through his throat. All right. That'll be a twenty-five to hit. That's definitely gonna hit. And um, wow, fuck me. One in one. Uh, eight. That that is enough. Dude, that you get him right through the throat. Minimal amount of damage I could possibly have done. I could not have rolled lower than that. Uh, <laughs> slice his throat open and turn to the next one. All right. With At style. this point, Balnar realizing he's not going to be able to pilot it out, he he rushes, thinking Greg and Bajark have Tormund well in hand. He rushes forward and swings a battle axe at the one that is baned. Uh, and he is going to hit. It'll be battle axes. Is that a D8 or a D10? That's a D10. You know, I'm not going to lie. Because of my tent, I could only see the B in the bandit's name. I actually thought that was uh, Vanier. <laughs> it's like, oh, hey, Vanier is on my flight. Cool. I didn't realize I was surrounded by four bandits the entire time. <laughs> <laughs> he takes a good hit. Raid's been drinking again. <laughs> All right, Achilles. All right. So Achilles is going to drop his longbow, draw one scimitar. And before that, I'm going to take my bonus action and do my... Um, my healing ability. Second wind, that is five points of healing that I got. Okay. Bear with me a second. And I'm going to take a shot at the guy who's baned. All right. With my scimitar, and that'll be a 18 to hit. 18 hits. Okay, that is 11 damage. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. I rolled the wrong dice. That is 6 damage. You, you, you come across with the swing, slicing your scimitar into his armor, uh, and it, it puts a deep gouge across it. Across his chest, he's, he tries to get his, his scimitar over to, to parry yours, but isn't able to get there in time. Okay, All action right. surge. Hold oh, on, action right. surge. I'm going to take another shot at him. That is a 12. 12 just barely hits. Okay, that is another 6 damage. And that is enough. Take him out. Oh, All right. And now I'm going to move 5, 10... 15, 20, down to here. Okay. And now, Tormund's turn. As the boat had started being broken apart and shoved away, he started running towards the front. I made him do a dex check to see if he could make it to the bow and across to the the part that was still leaning against the uh, the front of the barge there, and he just barely made it. I took a picture of the dice roll. <laughs> even on a fail, it pushes him 10 feet away. Just saying. He didn't fail. No, even on a... F oh, wait, what? He no, didn't no, even fail. fail. The boat, no, the boat sorry, failed. Sorry. Go ahead. And it started drifting away, yes, but he, he was able to make the jump. Barely. No, that, that was the point. The spell itself forces whatever it hits 10 feet away. It yeah. Knock back. No, never mind. Sorry, it is only a fail. My bad. Uh, yeah. Yeah, the boat did get start moving away from it in pieces. Uh, but he did not fail, and so he charged the front of the boat. I was going to be a little upset if I rolled lower than what I did. Would uh, Greg get a epic for Greg? Would, 
yeah, would Greg get an opportunity tax since uh, he would have moved? in front of me and i need you to make a wisdom save thank god Ooh. one thing that i'm actually good at though now that i said that i'm sure i'll roll poorly counterspell no we're not I rolled an <laughs> no no <laughs> we're, we're not there 25 total all right so that, twice. that that works for you but he still has a uh um glaive that he pulls from his back that comes swinging at you. Rude. Uh, and that is a 15 to hit. Nope. All right, he misses. I blow a raspberry in his face. <laughs> it's, he gets three. So he, oh he, he follows up with another swing, and that is a eight. Oh, gosh. That is a miss as well. All right, so he he did miss. Okay, Kellick. Oh. No, I like that better with the dead person. <laughs> this man is scarily not level three. Yeah. So Kellick uh, turns around, pulls the wand of magic missiles out, gives it a flourish, and casts. Uh, fifth level magic missile at him. What is going on with the turn order? Okay, at yeah, Tormund. Yeah. And he throws up a shield as a, his reaction. Mm. Ooh. The one thing that protects against magic missile. That son of a bee. That <laughs> man has the spell shield cast on himself? He, he has it as a uh, reaction. That man is fancy, and I want him dead now. Pardon me. Want... Alright, now it's... There's way too much booping oh. happening right now. Yeah, boop, boop, boop. <laughs> I think it's Hyman, right? No, it was Kellick's turn. So and it now, would be the bandits now. Now it's the bandit turn. Okay. Oh, there. okay. I got it fixed. I only have one bandit in the initiative order, and you killed the one that I actually had selected. So I had to take him off for a second. Okay, so there's only two of them left. Um, one at Raid and one for Corwin. They're original targets. They're still fighting. Raid... That is a 18 to hit. Fuck you. Four points of piercing or slashing damage is his, uh, his scimitar makes it past your rapier. And uh, Corwin, that is a... Raises me as a doom of death glare. Like, you fucked up. <laughs> Why is this so he, did you hit me? <laughs> yeah, no, he, he missed. Okay. All right, Hyman. As I'm looking at uh, the captain's picture, it looks like he's got metal armor on. Is that correct, Rob? He does. Ah, I hate that stuff. I take notice of this, and I start playing my uh, instrument pretty furiously, and we're going to heat his armor right up. That's an amazing yeah. Is that a save? That's a no save. Oh. He gets no save because right. he can't take his armor off. He can jump in the yeah. water. <laughs> well, it's not a bard only spell, but it's a phenomenal spell. Super. Spell. Eight points All of right. damage for this round. For this round. Oh, he is not happy. He feels the heat already. And he knows what's going on. And he gets a disadvantage on attack rolls and ability checks until his next turn. 
Okay. Bajark. I am going to reach out and touch him with a level two spell. Touch him, man. Bajark. I'm going to reach out and give him a gentle inflict wounds touch. A good, good happy touch. All right. Uh, with a... Don't have to do attack. That's a 12 to hit. Why did that post three times? But yes. I only saw it twice. Oh, I see. Yes, twice. I think you you have to change it in your uh, roll 20 to not automatically roll with advantage. Oh, or or to roll twice. To... Yeah. I think they have it in there just in case people have advantage to make it easier, and the DM just takes the uh, the, the first, first one if it's not. But that's a 12, so, so I probably didn't hit him. Did not. Uh, he slaps your hand that. away. He's a little pissed that you didn't grovel in front of him. And, uh... Hmm. But now it's Greg's turn. Well, is anyone hurt here before it's not my turn? Achilles has a little bit of damage, but he's pretty good. Okay, I won't worry about it then if he's doing pretty good. Calix jacked. Can I go? Yep. yep. Okay, I'm going uh, to move in front of the captain. Uh, say, oh shit. Majark, you heard about sink or swim? <laughs> Wait, don't do that to me. That's messed up. Just him. Are you shock <laughs> uh, Technically, you are in range. <laughs> you have to put it down smartly. Uh, Can I do that? Would I not somehow either hit him or Achilles? I don't hit what Achilles. Are you, you doing Thunder Wave? Ten foot square uh, right there. Thunder Wave, yes. It is a 15 foot cone on Fuck. myself. I can direct it. Oh no, yeah, fifteen foot cone. Oh, you either can do hit. It. Yeah, you can you direct can do it. it. You okay, can do so it without I... hitting either one of us. Oh, cool then. Awesome. Now I'm gonna go ahead and casting thunder wave again. Give me a second. I want to watch him sink. I'm going to make it simple. I'm going to not do it. Okay, yeah, so I'm going to just hit him. Okay. I was asking the uh, owner of the character if she want to get back on a grudge against Bajark. Um, Rude. Bajark's never done anything mean to Greg. <laughs> you kicked her. That's true. I did do that in the very first five <laughs> minutes of the very first session. <laughs> While she was awake. I just forgot. I didn't realize she was awake. <laughs> Those storm clerics, they really hold on to grudges. <laughs> right. <laughs> Yeah, so, uh, Bajark's turning into Stewie from when he beat Brian up for owing him money. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Um, so I, I guess I won't hit Bajark uh, as much as I, God, I would love to. But I'll just only hit the captain, and uh, it'll be a con 14. Constitution 14. Does heat metal, metal disadvantage on saves? Yes. It, it's ah. unsecured objects. That's all it is. Oh, he didn't post it. I thought he posted it. No, I'm doing it on my phone, so I, I don't have the ability to. Unless there's some way that I don't know. I don't think I can. Let's see here. It says attack rolls and ability checks. Okay, so he makes the save. Damn it. Well, just one second. Seven. Oh, good roll though. Ooh, Fifteen. Dope. Okay. Uh. Fifteen damage takes half. Doesn't get blown back, unfortunately. So half of fifteen. Yeah. 
Seven. All right. Corwin. All right. So I'm going to attack that one in front of me again. Let's see. Sharp end is going to be a 15 to hit. 15. And the blunt oh. end. That's right. He's still alive. On the bandit should hit, right? Yeah. And then it'll be a 21 on the blunt end. So that should be, let's see, a D4 and a D10. I get to that one. That'll be nine. 19 points. 19 is way more than needed. As I mean, you basically slice through this guy, and then the blood end shoves him back into the water. Nice. And then I'm going to move and over here. How, what path did you take to move? Whatever I could. <laughs> that, uh, didn't pass, I didn't pass. I didn't. I, I didn't pass the bandit. I just went like through here. Um, I just went. I stepped over the dead bodies and came down the. Okay. Good. Just want to make sure you weren't going to miss out on an attack of opportunity yeah. against you. All right. Uh, Raid. Okay. So uh, my tent is in play. So I'm assuming this guy would not get attack of opportunity on me if I were to move up. Nope. Awesome. Bullshit. Great. Love it. Um, I'm gonna <laughs> move in and uh try to. Who would have thought the tent would have actually come in handy? Yeah. Fuck you guys. If you want to cut holes in it. Um. <laughs> make my way around my tent and everybody and uh see what I all this thunder. I didn't cut a hole in it this time. Yeah, actually, yeah. that was uh, Kellek that cut a hole in it last time. Oh, I don't even own a knife. <laughs> it was you that did it last time. I don't time. know how you did that, Ben. He, he <laughs> wanted it. He wanted to. <laughs> See, Jack needs to learn that. I remember all of his grudges. Anyways, uh, I'm going to go ahead and <laughs> make my way over to the Thundering Booms next to Greg and try to stab my rapier into this guy's chest cavity. To be honest, at this point, Bjork's just amazed that you're actually fighting. <laughs> without getting paid for it. You're just doing it. Motives. Anyways, um, that would be a 16 to hit. <laughs> uh, 16 misses. Motherfucker. Disengage. <laughs> Back up. Alright. All right. That'd be all. Alright. Balnar then just... Oh no, he sees the bandit that's coming around your tent behind Achilles. And... He swings with his battle axe, and he will hit for five points of damage. Is that enough? No, it is not. He is still standing. All right, Achilles. All right, so Achilles is going to take a swipe with his scimitar at the bandit in front of him there. That is a 15. Uh, 15 hits. Five points of damage. So as you're, you swing your scimitar around, you kind of just barrel through his as he's trying to bring it up to bring it up to block, but it bites through his armor anyway. Okay. He's to look weak. As I swing through, I'm going to draw my second scimitar and use a bonus action to make an offhand attack. And that will be a 23 to hit. That's going to hit. And since I'm a dual wielder, I do get my dex bonus, but that's only going to be four points of damage. That's enough. So batting aside the, the weakly held scimitar slicing through his armor, come, following up with your offhand attack, just bring it across his body and his throat in an upward motion, and he just sinks to the boat. All right, and I'm going to take a five-foot step and face off against the captain, and that's it. All right, Tormin is going to step into that space, so he's not quite so surrounded. 
attack of opportunity. You will get an attack of opportunity, but he's still within reach of Corwin, so and everybody else. All right, so that is a twenty-four. That will hit. Jeez. Eight Good points roll. of damage. Good roll. That was a nineteen. That that bites through. How much armor? How much damage does he take, Hyman? Um. Uh, Eight points of damage. Oh, from the heat metal. Yep. That only happens on uh, my next turn, but it's 2d8. Oh, it happens on your turn? Yep. No, at the beginning of his turn. Okay. So he he turns around and th- flings his uh, glaive around to attack Bajark. At disadvantage. At disadvantage. I just want to make sure you remembered. Yep. Because this guy's scary. Use his bonus action on the last turn for that, and he's going to use a bonus action on this one, too. How dare this man try to punish Bjork for talking shit? No, it, it it meets the armor class or more. It hits. Then it's a hit. Uh, I'm gonna hit cutting okay. words, Rob. And I'm gonna okay. reduce his. I'm gonna reduce his damage by five. Okay, so, uh, he basically double smited you as a blinding light and a thunderous sound happens. So he gets the the ten. Three D eight Constitution saving throw. As as the glaive hits you and a blinding light flares from it. That's not a good roll. That's not a good roll at all. What was your roll? 13. You are blinded. That is exceptionally rude of that man. And I also need a strength saving throw as I'm calculating damage here. That is also rude, but that's a 23. All right. You, you're pushed. You're, you failed that one, and you are pushed into the water. Oh, Damn. Good. I'm an expert swimmer, so. And you take 16 uh, radiant damage. You take 5 slashing damage and 10 thunder damage. I am floating unconscious in the water <laughs> because that man Did just re- one shot me. Did you screen. remove the five wow. points from the uh, cutting words I threw at him? Does that w- would that even ma- have mattered? Yeah, that, then I wouldn't be unconscious. Oh yeah, I'd yeah, still take be that. Alive, but just barely. Add that back in, but you're still in the water. All right, and then he turns to Greg and another oh. attack at disadvantage. Um, that is a eleven to hit. Nope. And then one more swing at Greg. And that's also going to miss. Yeah. Who are we fighting? You come down here and fight me in the water like a man. <laughs> oh, I'll help you out with that. Don't worry. <laughs> All right, Kellick. Hey, Hyman. So he has disadvantage on ability, ability saving throws? Not saving throws, ability checks. Damn it. Otherwise, grapple going on. He's exceptionally mean. 
I'm still going to try what I was going to try. Uh, let's see. All right, so Kellick uh, gestures and starts to chant and casts Charm Person at him. And so he will have to make a, a Wisdom saving throw, Rob, uh, DC 13. Wisdom saving throw, DC 13. Ooh. Uh, he failed. Okay, let me make sure I'm not cheating you here. Oh, he gets to make it at advantage. Oh, he gets an advantage, yeah. He gets it at advantage. That's why yeah, I was wanting that. Uh, yeah. Is oh! that your turn? Yeah, he finishes off his uh, s his semantic movements and with a finger and then hides behind a barrel. And no, uh, no more bandits, so Hyman. So I'm going to bonus action and continue playing my instrument and make illusions of a, of a man dancing in a fire as I heat him back up for another 2d8 worth of damage. That'll be nine points of damage. And then I'm going to uh, cast vicious mockery at him and, and ask me if he's having hot flashes today. <laughs> <laughs> That's a and wisdom saving on 14. He passes by one. This dude is a beast. So that, that's my turn. And again, he'll be at disadvantage on his attack rolls and ability checks. All right. The Jark. Good, good, good. Um, good. Good, good. I'm in perfect health, so that's not a big deal. I'm going to blow a uh, level 2 spell out of my ring to cast uh, Cure Wounds at level 2 on myself. All right. I'm not going to require uh, any checks or whatever to see if you are swimming because there's enough debris from that boat that Greg smashed that you'd be able to grab onto something. Well, that makes other plans unfortunate. Well, I uh, heal myself by nine, which is not enough to really make that much of a difference. And, uh... Hmm. Yeah, that's it. That's my turn. I'm just going to stay down there and float for a second and yell, why don't you fight me down here like a real man? Right. Greg. So, well, is so the debris that Bajark is standing on is there, and our boat's not moving, right? The boat's not moving. He's not. Sta he's in the water. I'm just not. He, he's just not having to drown. I'm clinging to wood. Right. Right. It just changed what I was going to do then. Uh, okay, well, I guess in that case, um, defensive strategy, I'm going to cast Shield of Faith on myself uh, to make my DC a 20, or my AC a 20, pardon me, and then I'm going to go ahead and um, swing my flail at the captain, which I, for whatever reason, can't roll there, so that will be a 7 plus... 5, 12, 13 to hit. Something fail, lose, or not hit. Thirteen hit. No, thirteen misses. Okay. Um. And then yeah, I guess I'll be it then. Just shield myself and try to smack at it and miss. Corwin. Okay. Uh, can I hit him from with my glaive from where I'm at? I think yeah. that's 10 feet. Yeah, it should be. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and... Uh... All right, let's see if I can hit this guy. Come on, high roll, high roll. 19 to hit. 19 hits. 
All right, and then the blunt end is going to be a, oh, that's only a 16. That'll miss, right? 16 misses. Okay. So that's going to be, let's see what we can do here. Reroll that. <laughs> that sucks. Okay, so that's going to be uh, seven points. Seven points of damage. So you, you swing and once and cut into his armor, but the second, you know, he's just, it's kind of, you're having to extend out to get him. Uh, but it still took some, uh, still took some damage. All right, raid. Um, but as your turn comes up, you see a, uh, um, as you start to move, do whatever you're about to do, you see a uh, something come flying through the air over the wagons towards uh, Tormund. Okay. Hey, and a glass vial hits the the captain, um, and it looks like acid, uh, an acidic fire kind of engulfs him for for a brief second. As a uh, my man, wow, <laughs> <laughs> oh, he Mac, oh, that was one max roll on that on one dice. That was a fourteen points of damage on on a on a throw there. Oh <laughs> Rydrick MVP, <laughs> right? This is, this is why you buy people beer. You you hear a small <laughs> little you hear a small little cheer. Um, and then he, you see a head kind of peeking over, and he pops back down. <laughs> All right, raid. All right, now that I got it open, I'm a hardcore parkour uh, against the side of the boat, against this crate, this crate, and then try to drive my rapier into the side of the captain. Hopefully, I think I get advantage because of flank, right? Flanking. So that. Yeah, you're flanking now, so with advantage. Cool. So that'll be a twenty-four to hit. 24 hit. Hardcore parkour. That's, that's awesome. Hardcore parkour for 16 damage. 16 damage. Oh. He is, uh... He, he feels that in his back. Uh... He kind of turns his head, you know... You, you see... You sense a slight bit of fear, but... But more of a, uh... Infuri infuriation emanating from him. Well... As I get that little glance from him, say, "Hope you enjoy a watery grave." As I disengage and back up a few steps. Okay, th th those are wagons there. Uh, one, two, that was kind of yeah, but hardcore park, man. Hardcore, hardcore park. Sure, <laughs> rule or cool, it works. All right, <laughs> Bailnar. Uh, let's see. He moves up and uh, confidently. Uh, Walking up, he's seeing. Yeah, you, know, he, he, you get this air of confidence from Belnar that between with with himself and his newfound friends surrounding him. Uh, year old. Corman has met his match, uh, but he's gonna miss. <laughs> he was feeling a little cocky. <laughs> Swing and a miss. All right, Achilles. Okay, so for my bonus action, I'm going to shout at Bajark and say, you're still in this. Get back in the fight. And I'll rally him for five temporary hit points. I like and it, Bajark. Sure. I will step up into this space and take a swing with my scimitar. Oh, I'm going to miss. 13 total. Yep, that's gonna miss. All right, that's that's my turn. All right, Captain Torman. He his attention is still on Greg in front of him. I'm sorry, he's not coming down here to fight down, me like an animal. I love that Bajark's in the water 
Jason. And his halo looks like a lifesaver ring. A you know. <laughs> <laughs> it's because he's got a, uh, a another token underneath his that's dead. Oh. Um, does a... Uh, while, while you're counting, can I go ahead and do another cutting word and, and knock um, four points off of your attack roll? Off the attack roll? Yep. Or damage? That's correct. The it attack roll. Cool. Oh. Okay, because that was a 15 to hit, and now that's only a 10 to hit. Okay. Who was the attack? Uh, Greg. Okay. 15 to hit? He, no. He, he, he glared, you know, he... He glares uh, menacingly, and you guys feel this uh, uh, heaviness settle in the air around all of you. And I need each one of you to make a, uh, a wisdom saving throw. Oh, I'm not good at these. Much? Everybody? Everybody. Because okay. everybody's within 30 feet of him. Oh, that's not bad. All right. Hyman, you are now frightened. I got a 24. You are good. You're still blind, Nin but you're good. 19 <laughs> oh, for Achilles. Uh, that saves. 17. Save. Uh, 14 for Greg. Saves. Working on raid. Saves. 13. Raid will be... Barely saves. Raid will be a 13. Oh, barely saves. Oh, awesome. So, Hyman, you are the only one that is frightened, so any attacks against him are at disadvantage. All right, but he's following that up with a second strike at Greg with a miss and his final attack. Uh, that's a 15 to hit. Hello, nope. Nope. They all missed. My faith, whatever that is, uh, is shielding me. <laughs> all right, Kellick. All right, again, uh, levels off, and uh, having holstered the wand of magic missiles, gestures forward with his hand and casts a uh, magic missile at second level. All right. A shield does not come up. Thank goodness. And that is 17 points. Good roll. It was not bad. He is starting to look a little rough as the missiles come spiraling out of your hand, you know, out of the finger guns and impact various points across his body. And he's, he, he kind of stumbles for a second. It looks like he's about to go down to a knee, but recovers. And he's just going to move a little bit further away. All right, Hyman. I'm going to bonus action, heat him back up a little bit. All right. And that'll be a whopping three points of damage for that. And then I'm going to uh, cast a minor illusion kind of down in the lower spots of his armor where he doesn't move a whole lot and make it look like it caught on fire, kind of where he would think the heat was. Okay. Now, he has to interact with that to try to... Or does he get a save? It. Uh, I don't know that there's anything outside of, you know, the, the RP value of that. So if he would have to interact, maybe in action or... I don't know. Yeah, I think it's your call. I'm trying to determine if it's an action. Or... Okay. The shark. Do I get a con save against uh, blindness? 
Uh, at the end of your turn. Oh, can I take mine for the end of my last turn that I didn't take? Oh, did you not take it? No, I didn't think about okay. it until the start of this turn. Oh, well. Yep. Yeah, I can. Sweet. You, you're right. Let's see if I fail at last turn. I failed at last turn. Okay. Okay, good. I'm going to try and climb up the side of this boat while I cuss at Captain Tormund, telling him to fight me like a real man. All right, so make a... Uh, I'll, I'll let you decide. Intelligence or uh, dexterity to see if you find the side of the boat. Since you're blind. <laughs> That's a bold move, Cotton. <laughs> At disadvantage. Well, I'm just going to go towards the sound of the of the fighting, obviously. Okay. It seems like the easiest way to do it. I can still roll a check if you need me to. Yeah, I mean, because you're, you're kind of floundering in the water there a little bit. The direction of the fighting is self-evident. So, yeah, you're not able to kind of get the edge of the barge just yet. But you can go ahead and make the uh, the save for your blindness. Well, if I can't... Okay, that's fine. I'll just end my turn doing that. Maybe you probably failed that one, too. Yep. Still blind. Still cussing that man out, telling him to come fight me like a real man. All right, Greg. Okay, so Greg is going to go ahead and take her flail and kind of like reverse grip it so the uh, um, the handle's facing forward and say, like I said, he won't get the chance and then try to uh, jab the, the bottom of the weapon against his rib and cast Inflict Wounds. Uh, oh, for a... Fuck. 15. Damn it. 15 misses. Damn it, Christ. <laughs> That was actually a lot of damage. Holy crap. It was going to be 21. <laughs> Too bad. So sad. Corwin. <laughs> God, uh, this is ruthless tonight. Ah. Uh. Okay, so that's going to be a 20 to hit. That'll hit. Okay, and let me try the blunt end here. Blunt end will be uh, 18. 18 hits. Okay, cool. So that's going to be... Yeah, let's see here. <laughs> I can't believe that, man. That sucks. All right, five, ten. Fifteen points. Fifteen points of damage? Yep. I mean, that, that's... He's, he's taking a beating. All right, Ray. Anyways. All right, I'm a, a softcore parkour my way over this and try <laughs> to uh, hit him with my rapier again. Um, let's see, got advantage. So many dice. Going through D10s, D6s. Uh, D8, cool, got it. All right, whoops. That would be a 23 to hit. And then 13 for damage. All right, that hits. Another rapier to the back. Is that 13? Yep. He does not like you at all. Um, I'm going to say, like, hey, you even trying, man? And I'm, you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to taunt him and just move right behind him. I'm not even going to disengage. Okay. Belnar will attack. But he will miss. <clears throat> All right. We're past the stream break. I was actually going to try to avoid it tonight, but I have to go play dad for a second. I'll be back in just a few minutes. You guys want to take a quick break as well? Sure. Gotcha. <laughs>
All right. Um, so, Bailnar missed on his attack swing, uh, unfortunately. So it is Achilles' turn. Tell him before he gets another turn, Achilles. <laughs> Achilles, you're muted. Almost there. There you go. All right. Sorry about that. I got two mouses on my desk here. All right. So Achilles is going to put his sword up to Captain Tormund's neck and tell him, yield or face certain death, and I will ready an action. If he makes any hostile move, I'm going to try to cut his head off. Dang. Rain is the bad guy. So he, he kind of pauses for a second looking at the blade at his throat. And he says, try. So go ahead, because he's coming out swinging. All righty. So this will be my reaction. And uh, I guess he ducks under it, because I rolled a 12. Oof. I rolled a 7. Total of 12. Yep. And raid. Hey, big guy, eyes up here. All your uh, shit talking there. Uh-huh. He uh, decides to throw some of this at you. I knew that was coming. <laughs> Come at me, bro. First swing misses. Second swing misses. <laughs> Is there a third? Fuck. <laughs> Damn it. Yep, there is a third, and that is a 17 to hit. Nope. Hey. Oh. <laughs> This is one of those, like, pop the shirt out moments. There you go. Sorry. Man. <laughs> it wrote. <laughs> <laughs> now he's starting to... You, get a, you sense a little bit more fear coming out of him after you dodged all of those. But he's not backing <laughs> down. Kelly. Magic missile. <laughs> Bajark, were you able to get it up again? Oh, there he is. Right okay. yeah, so she's it just on delay. Oh, I see a Discord chat. That's what it is. This is a kind of. Hmm. Ah, uh, not a solid roll. That is eight damage for magic missile. Hey, uh, you should check out the stream. I think he's looking at it. I think you changed it to, like, the old version of it, and it's... Uh, oh, my uh, God. Yes, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that is a screenshot. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Sorry about that. We are pros. Let's uh -huh. delete that one. Said. What's Luigi doing there? <laughs> What's that turtle eating? <laughs> we are professionals. <laughs> we are. <laughs> All right. That, I mean, yeah, eight damage doesn't seem to be like a lot, especially with some of the other things flying around, but he's, he's looking really rough. That's right, Hi, sucker. Man. What is the uh, frightened effect? Do I get to roll for that or not, Rob? No, nope, you are... Uh, um, it just it affects any attack rolls you have against him. Okay. And as far as uh, if I have a bonus action, can I use another bonus action as an action? Nope. You can't reduce a bon action to a bonus action. Oh, I guess it's only minor move or from action movement to minor, right? Okay, so I'm going to bonus action and uh, continue playing that wonderful music he's hearing, and we're going to heat him back up for 10 points of damage. And then I'm going to move down here and toss a rope to Bajark and hopefully hit him on the head with it. So uh, as you move, after trying to get out of range for the uh, heating metal, uh, how do you want to do it? Um. 
we're just going to let the heat go there until he falls on his knees. I was hoping Bajark would better be, be there to yeah, see yeah. it, but he can look at Achilles that way, and we'll just let him fall over dead. Poof. No, he'll just hear it. He's blind. Because <laughs> yeah. he is dead. Oh! Good. I'm going to fight though. the Take rope that hits me in the head. <laughs> and I'll ask a few people to help me get this heavy guy on board. Can I see if he's not here? I'll kill his help on, on, on board. <laughs> yeah. Ah, oh, good. I'm just going to climb up the, the, you know, help them get me on the boat and just be like, Oh, my fucking head hurts. Oh, my God. Man, hell almost got you there, buddy. Almost. Almost. She wasn't ready this time. And I'm going to go kick that dude like 27 times. Time. <laughs> and a head stomping. Possibly. If, if there's anybody that's proficient in heavy armor, I think he's in heavy armor, right? Uh, uh, make an somebody make an investigation check. I've got. Atlanta. I'm proficient in investigation, so I will. I, I don't think the helmet's going to be any good after Bizarre gets done with his. Uh, it's something. <laughs> it was a nat twenty. Dang. Right, so, so it, it's it's pretty good conditioned uh, plate armor that he's wearing. Oh. Mm. If nobody else is taking it, Mark will wear it, even though he's not proficient, because he's not scared to have disadvantage on certain things. Uh, like stealth checks? Can use yeah, that. like things he already doesn't use, yeah. <laughs> things that are just what? stupidity. <laughs> hey, hey, Rob, yeah. what about that gla glaive he was carrying? How does that look like compared to mine? It just looks like a regular glaive. Okay. Yeah. No interest in that. Uh, no. Well, Greg, Greg would be interested in it, though I don't see them trying to stop you. I mean, Did we look at all the bodies? They, they, uh, Greg is proficient in heavy armor. Yes. Yeah, then she can have it if she can manage to use it. Okay. Alright. Um, I'm assuming you search the rest of the, uh, you don't just, you know, strip him of his armor. Well, yeah, that, yeah. Was weapon. that was, would have been Greg's main focus. Oh, okay. So you, uh, I mean, you find the, the, the bandits just had their, their bows and uh, scimitars. Nothing fancy. I'm the captain. But the, uh, he's got 14 gold pieces on him. And forty-three silver pieces, and oh. he's we he is wearing a ring. He's wearing a gold cool. ring that looks pretty nice. If you guys want, I'll throw that cash into party funds if you want. Bjork thinks about putting the ring on because it worked out so well for him last time. <laughs> uh, very quickly. <laughs> Kellick reaches down and secures the ring and just says, let me at least take a look at it before you go putting it on, okay? Hmm. Question, Jark. So, these guys, you do say is an enemy of hell. I mean, I... No? Yes? Are I don't know. They're just people. Line with the ogres or orcs and, uh, you know, zombie people? Maybe. They're at least okay, so opportunistic that pieces of shit. You just want to wear their jewelry? Is that is this our rationale right here? Yeah, Don't let me stop you. Me. I would love to see you put on that ring. But yeah. I'm just saying. Like, is, that, is this how the gears are turning? <laughs> Absolutely. They're, they're worthless vagabonds. I don't care about them. <laughs> Hell might. Right. I'm not the greatest huh. priest ever. <laughs> Rob. Hey, Kelly, can you let him put on the ring? No. <laughs> no, no. I'm not going to put on the ring. <laughs> Rob, Rob, what was the, what was the, do you, do you guys want to split that cash up or do you want me to put it in to group currency? Put it in the group fund. I mean, this is change, okay. put it in the currency. What was right. the, yeah, what was, what was the total, Rob? 14 gold and 40 14 silver. Gold and 43 silver. Got it. If we got 40 silver, I quit. Greg, 
is still looking at the weapon of the captain. The glaive? Yeah. Oh, glaive. Never mind. Sorry. Disregard. I had no idea the hell I thought I heard. Hey, Rob, how how good a quality are the arrows that the bandits were carrying? Uh, they're They're decent quality. They're not, you know, hastily made arrows by any means. I'm going to empty all of their quivers and ask the group if anybody else needs any arrows. Any bolts in there? I don't yeah, know. Not unless they're crossbow bolts. <laughs> yeah. Nope. <clears throat> nah. How many total arrows were there? A good question. <laughs> uh, 26. All right. Favorite thing about D&D, uh, I'm not prepared for a, a numbers question like that. Let me roll some dice. Yeah, enjoy developing that banking system. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to look at Belnar and kind of jokingly tell him, hey, you know, there's been a lot of trouble since we've met you. This is what our third encounter of problems. <laughs> so, uh, I didn't have these kinds of issues till you guys showed up. As he goes and, you know, after you're done rummaging the body, he kicks Tormund's body into the water. I gotta say, Belnar, though, that's a... You, you did know this guy. He called out to you by name. Yeah, you also basically said we couldn't handle this. Uh, is there... Fuck. Right, right would have actually... Sorry, Raid would have actually stepped in between him and kicking that body off. Uh, does this guy have a bounty on his head? Probably somewhere. Not that I'm aware yeah, of. Uh, I mean, I'm sure if you, uh, if we mention it to, to the Lightbringer Garrison and, uh, and Greenwind, may maybe there'd be a reward for him. He, he used to be a Lightbringer. Uh, Oh, he, yes. No, to be clear, 100%. his head isn't really recognizable anymore. So. Yeah, but <laughs> yeah, we have a credible. We have a credible. <coughs> few people. Get here. fingerprints. <laughs> we can uh, definitely make sure that this person will be recognized. Don't worry. And uh, we'll make sure that uh, his memory, be, memory will be properly uh, passed on to those who he wronged. That's what people of justice say, right? I drag the body off to the side. Belnar just kind of shrugs and says, okay. <laughs> I will just tell him we killed him. <laughs> I feel like there is a, an insight check in there. It's somewhere in the whole process of Raid trying to act like he cares about the law and justice. <laughs> uh, let's see. Go ahead and roll an insight check. Well, hell yeah! <laughs> Okay, so before I roll my deception, uh, Rob, if if Raid is with the bounty hunter mentality and he knows that by justice equals gold, is he lying to him or am I trying to persuade him? What with, with what I know about his motivations, um, no. Y you're not making it clear you're just after the money. You made it, you know, seem like you cared about the justice. So yeah, it would be a would be a lie. Okay. Well, let's see. Um 15. Fifteen. Fifteen. <laughs> so I'll, I'll treat that as the, uh, the, the attack roll versus the armor class. So, Kellick, you're not 100% sure, but you're pretty sure he's uh, he's got some ulterior motives there. You're just not sure what they are. Well, that was the case always. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, if, if Raid eats cereal, Kellick is going to be suspicious. <laughs> like, there's, some, there's some shit going down here. He's eating cereal. <laughs> What's he doing with that toy? <laughs> Where are your servants, by the way? <laughs> They're in the tent. Hey, Rob, do we have... Yeah. 
<laughs> Even with the sensitivity changed. <laughs> there are the... It's like a mountain of sweet bad dogs. Do we have time for a short this rest? Johnny flies back on screen with dogs biting him. Johnny, can you mute? Yeah, I'm about to. Sorry. Django's, Django's ate my baby. Advice in the future. M mute, then put headphones down. <laughs> Pro tip number one. Use push to talk. Tracking. Do we have time for a rest? Yeah, time for a short rest here. Um, yeah, absolutely. All right. I'm yeah, gonna... I'll. Oh, I'm spend spend nice. one hit die. Spend one hit die. Does that yeah. temporary hit points go away then? Right? No. No, they stay on. Oh, okay. Until long rest. The no. nope, they even stay on then. Um, the only time it'll change if I do give you temporary hit points again, you have to choose if you want to keep the temporary you have or replace it with the new one. Nice, that is but nice. But you keep them until you lose them. They, they won't stack. Right. That's a good deal. Uh, I will go ahead and while we're doing that, I'm going to ritual cast identify on the gold ring before Bajark tries to take it and put it back on. All right. So. Uh, it is a ring of shield. That's weird. Only has three charges. Um, currently has no charges. Uh, and uh, it recharges daily at dawn. Kellick is gonna kind of. Yeah, Kelly's gonna like wander over after the ritual casting and kind of like slide a ham palm it to Hyman. I'll take that for now, but I'm beginning to wonder if this Bijart guy might need it. He's always in trouble. <laughs> He's always getting freaking kicked off of boats like a boat anchor. <laughs> Well, to, well, be, to fair, be fair, the first I, I time jumped, he yeah. threw himself off the boat. It's, yeah, the first time I did it on purpose. Hi. I gave uh, uh, Kellick a, a, a little nod of appreciation, and uh, I'll later on talk to him and tell him that we would like, uh, if he needs it, well, I'll, I'll certainly give it back. You did such a good job that everyone with their passive perceptions... <laughs> yeah, I know. I, I now... Clearly to him. <laughs> I nat one that it was like I walked over like I was being sneaky and I was just like, look at yeah. this. He just straight up announced yeah. it. Here, have a ring. The, the perception like, oh. doesn't matter because the sleight of hand is more like the, the, the coming up over like this and you can see the, the, the ring between his fingers as he slams it into Hyman's grasp. I was literally just whispering, Rob, hey, does a dirty 20 for perception for sleight of hand <laughs> catch it? I was like, LOL, never mind. <laughs> As if the shark wouldn't miss the ring. You know, where's my ring I had you inspect? <laughs> no idea. Shield wouldn't do me any good anyway. It would lower my... It doesn't give you a bonus to AC. It only sets your AC to a certain number, I think. Right? No, it, 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 it adds five. five. Yeah, it adds five. Oh, yeah, it adds five. 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 No, temporary no, for that like one. The, for the, the one reaction. As a reaction. Yeah. Uh, reaction. It's not like Shield of Faith. Got you. Nope. Yeah, that's a good ass spell. Yeah. It, it, it's a plus five. Yep. Yeah. Where's that fucking ring at? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it's great for frontline people. Yeah. Or the Bard, because you know what? Honestly, myself and the Bard have taken more hits than I think anyone in the entire game so far. Yeah, there's some shots going on there. Well, once that, he uh, gained heat metal, you know, great. everyone was like, oh, yeah, fuck him. <laughs> <laughs> That's a guy who just keeps walking around and burning people. I, I kind of imagine that final heat metal as he starts to, you know, boil from within, you know, he kind of flicks his hand and walks away from him and it's just like melting behind him <laughs> in dramatic pose, playing the bagpipes. <laughs> All right, so Belnar, uh, you know, helps shift the body away from him, uh, from the the helm there, and 
puts the, the barge back in motion and continues uh, towards Greenwind, you know, in the pouring rain that is still still happening during all of this. <clears throat> Wait, the body's on the edge of the boat? No, no, the body's on the Oh, no. <clears throat> he, he kicked all of them off, but when he got to... The captain. Um, the captain. Yeah, yeah. I just, if it was still on the edge of the boat, I might have accidentally kicked it off myself, but since you moved it to the middle... Again, safe, the body is with Raid. It's a safe corpse. Is Since, it with uh, Raid in the tent? Please tell me you brought the body into the tent with you. It, yeah, so originally, I mean, I didn't want to argue this because the fight, you know, it mattered. Um, the tent was supposed to be towards the back of the boat. Uh, so I would have my servants move the tent towards the back and the corpse will, yes, be in the tent. I am not so, going to cast these spells the necessary to preserve that body. <laughs> Just to uh, give you an, an idea, I mean, you've got two carts back there. Rydrick's kind of hanging out with his cart, but the the back of the barge is nothing but cargo. Yeah, I, and I, I understood. That's why I was like looking towards the back, like where the you know everything chill is going on, not like the activity is going to be in the front. I don't. I mean, yeah, I guess it would fit right there. Really okay, like where, where I'm standing is where essentially I would want the tent to be. Okay, that works. Yeah. Alright. You guys uh, do anything while you're resting? Rest I'd like along. to I'd like to talk to Achilles and Kellick and bring them to the side and you know, say it was a good battle and let's uh, sit down and relax if you guys don't mind. Pull out the drums and, and see if we can do some practicing. Alright. Yeah, and I'll, I'll take that time also to do some arcane recovery. Bjork is going to look for anything he can use to plug his ears and take a nap. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> stuffing rags into his yeah, just oh god make it stop I'll have illusions uh, in the air of some guy hitting his head <laughs> yeah it seems appropriate you open your eyes while you're sitting there trying to drown out the sound and you just see the image of something just you know like a child just slapping your forehead you don't feel anything yep that seems appropriate now go ahead and uh Hyman, make a performance check with advantage. That'd be 13. 13. It's, you guys need some practice. Uh, it's a good thing you're taking the time to do it on the barge before you try to do this in a tavern. But But not too bad for your first time playing together. Got to iron out the kinks. Yep. So a, uh, a few more hours um, go by, uh, and you can see you know, in the distance uh, in front of you the uh, a, kind of a sprawling um, cityscape uh, of the port of Greenwind. Uh, you know, you see the you see walls around the town, ex including a uh, you know, the closer you get, kind of a gate. Uh, that kind of goes over the river, uh, and be beyond that, you see some docks. You see some docks in front of the the, the walls. You see some uh, kind of spread uh, past the wall, and then you can see kind of the delta um, on the coast there, where uh, some of the bigger ships are are coming in and out of the uh, the port. But as you get um, close to the uh, the the small river docks on the outside of the wall you see um there's not very many people at, at the docks most of the uh, boats have been taken into the into the city already and the uh gate uh over the river is is closed and you can see guards uh posted along the wall Does the uh, captain of the boat seem like he knows his area, or does he know the routine? I'm so, sorry, what was that? Another dad moment. Does the uh, <clears throat> our boat's captain like seem like he knows the routine, or are we needing to? He 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 doesn't seem alarmed, um, but. 
he'll let you know it's like ah they must have wind of uh something coming because they've got everything pulled in and usually the gates open right now one of you guys want me to do it you guys hey you have a message man (laughs) (laughs) that's like a we have a message you guys are going to get ransacked in in probably a few hours the orcs and undead are on their way. <laughs> oh, is that you're just yelling this out? You're, you're not quite there yet. Damn it. Oh, I'm yelling it anyway <laughs> because Raid started it, so now I'm going for it. I you see the... Like, you guys start yelling and you see the guards kind of... kind of. You're, you're close enough now that you can kind of make out some, some movement and they're kind of looking at each other and kind of leaning... Forward, and they're like they're trying to hear what you're saying. I'm gonna look at Kellogg and you see and just a be like, on one of them. Look at Kellogg and just be like, "Use your fancy magic to make me loud." Belnar is just Belnar is like, "Calm down, we'll be there in just a few minutes." I got excited, and uh, Belnar, you know, pulls the barge up toward. To, you know, since the the docks on the on the banks of the river have been emptied, he goes basically to the closest one and. Pulls the barge up, up to it, um, and you you hear one of the guards, uh, "Ahoy, Belnar!" And he kind of waves and, and looks at you guys and kind of motions, like, "Now you can, you know, say what you're here to say." Yeah, Kellek like behind the barge. Kellek like does some finger wiggles and then like holds his hands up in a cone in front of Bajark's mouth and says, "Okay, this should magnify it." And you can just yell as much as you want. I don't like the way you mock me, but I'm going to yell anyway. <laughs> Orcs and undead are on their way. They'll be here soon. See? See? It worked. I thought prestidigimidication made things louder if you wanted them to be. I think it does, but I'm having way too much fun with them. <laughs> All right, and they... uh. Nah, they kind of look at you guys. Um, Belnar, friends of yours? And he, he yeah. They're, and they're pretty handy in a fight, too. Let them in. Yeah, putting in lightly friends, more like saviors. Essentially, <laughs> he, yeah. He, he just kind of looks over at you and shrugs and go, goes about securing the boat. Am I wrong? Um, Am and I they, wrong? uh. <laughs> you are not wrong. You, you see it. <laughs> You see a small uh, door on the uh, same side of the the river that you guys are now tied to, um, open in a uh, in a guard, you know, kind of wave you in. Cool. Who runs this place? We need to talk to. So, uh, I say to Belinier. So you probably want to talk to the, to the mayor and lawmaster. Bjark is going to say it slower so that they can understand. The orcs and undead are on their way here. They'll be here soon. Yeah? The guard kind of looks at you with a dumb look on his face um, and just tells you to follow me and, and goes into the door. Uh, going up some stairs towards the top of the the wall. Rob, what city are we in now? You are in Green. You have just arrived in Greenland. I'll follow him. Oh yeah, we're all headed that way. I think. All right. So he, he you come up on top of the wall, and uh, the the one that you just yelled in his face for the you know repeating what he obviously heard the first time and kind of looks at Bajark with with a very rude look on his face and just kind of does this uh motions to the uh to the northeast and in the distance you can see a uh <laughs> encampment um you know probably uh, a mile or two away Oh, good. I'm glad we wasted our about? time. Yeah. See? He was right. <laughs> I'm glad we wasted our time rushing here. 
when we could have been not running into danger for no reason to warn people that already knew that it was happening. Good, good, good. Does this boat go back the other way? <laughs> I need to go to the library. I know I'm probably going to be made fun of for making that statement, but we need to go to the library. Uh, the, the, the captain of the guard comes up and says, well, if you, if you have maybe some more information and details about what's going on, maybe the, uh, the mayor and the lawmaster will be interested in talking to you. Most definitely. We have those in, in a massive supply of information. All right. And he, 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 he uh, tasks one of the, uh, the guards to uh, escort you to the, uh, to, to the mayor's, uh, to the city hall. And says the the mayor and the lawmaster should both be there, uh, convening a uh, a war council, uh, and that is where we will end tonight. And stuff. So, despite spot. all of our uh, uh, issues tonight, um, want to thank the able queen again uh, for her contribution tonight to tonight with these awesome maps and i will post them in the chat again oh were, were they uh the boat ones or were they also the town no the, the town I, I made off of uh incarnate but so all all the river maps were were from her yeah they're pretty sweet oh, pretty awesome to see the boats kind of i mean it was actually sectioned off, but seeing the boats move forward, it's really cool. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. It's good work. <laughs> I like the, the detail work on the banks, too, and everything. Yeah, yeah and she's got uh, you know the, the shadows on there, and she yeah, from the dynamic screen. lighting was needed on here. She provides files for all of her maps that uh, once you do some of the scripting stuff set up in Roll20, it automatically adds the... Uh, the dynamic lighting to the map, so so I don't have to do anything, which it's very nice. Increases or very much decreases prep time for new maps. Yeah, I was wondering that makes it to where the the sun essentially is shining from the northwest. Uh, that's just how she she did it. Okay. Um, yeah, yeah. I, I didn't give her a direction of the river to help with the shadows. Cool. Like, Rob, is this a milestone? Uh, no, it is not. God damn it. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. question every single turn. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm always going to ask. The, the, uh, <laughs> the answer will more often be no. <laughs> well, hey, hey, Rob, how much time passed after the fight and until we got to Greenwin? Uh, one day to the monastery and essentially another day. Um, well, it, it, because you, he went all night. Um, it was another 24 hours, essentially, going to Corston and then back uh, to the monastery. And then, so you, you are, so that's one, two, you are ending the third day. So was there a long rest yeah. between after the fight and before we got to Greenland? No, uh, the fight happened... Uh, a few hours prior to arriving. Okay, gotcha. You would have gotten a long rest from the monastery or from Corston to the fight, but um, okay. nothing happened in between that. I, I thought required you guys to take note of that. Can we see the world map again? World map or the yeah. kingdom map? Or yeah, kingdom. Sorry. Does this mean that uh, no time will pass to the next meeting? Um, yeah, things are just kind of moving a lot right along in the story. Yeah, we're not really in a inn or campsite or anything. I mean, I'll, I'll if, throw the if, uh, if the guards will allow us to rest before we do the meeting, then we can get potentially uh, a day in town. Or, yeah, so. but you're talking about trying to take a long rest with an enemy army camped less than two miles away. DM's discretion, <laughs> true. I will throw the uh, um, rooms up tonight for 
some of the locations in, within the city, including the, the city hall. And um, once that happens, if somebody throws the uh, the 